In this tutorial, we're going to use Blender to determine the proper scale to print an enable hand for a client. If you haven't already watched Taking Recipient Photos for Enable and Importing and Scaling Photos in Blender, please go back and follow those tutorials first. Please see the video description for links to those videos. At this point, we've imported top and side view photos, scaled those photos, and moved those photos into position for a virtual fitting. Let's have a look at some designs. Look down in this lower left hand corner to see the keys I'm pressing. Right now we're in top view. Use shift and middle mouse button to pan and the mouse wheel to zoom. If you're using a Mac, you can look up the keys for pan and zoom, or just plug in a three button mouse. Here is a row of wrist powered devices for both the left and right hand. The Z or Z key toggles wireframe view. Right click selects a device. Here we have the Cyborg Beast, the Talon Hand, the Odie Hand, the Raptor Original, the Raptor Reloaded, the Osprey Hand, and the Flexi Hand 2. I'm going to size an Osprey Hand today. Right click to select it. Now hit Shift D to duplicate the object and move the design over the photo. Left click releases the object. Use the G key to grab the object again and left click to place the device over the middle of the client's wrist. You may need to hit R to rotate the device into the proper orientation. Since we're determining scale, we need to be especially aware of the internal size and shape of each device. I'm going to hit S to change the scale of the device. When I do, look in the lower left of the view window. A field showing the scale factor will appear. When the scale looks right, round off the number and type it in on your keyboard. Then hit enter or left click to commit. So basically I hit S and typed in 1.15 and then enter. You can undo any grab, rotate, or scale operation with Ctrl Z or Ctrl Z. Let's go into side view. I'm making a left hand device, so I'm using right side view. Use the G key again to grab and the R key to rotate the device until it appears to fit the client properly. Now, just for record keeping, you'll want to take a couple screenshots and label them with the appropriate information. I'm calling this image OSP Jimmy 115, OSP for Osprey, Jimmy for the name of the client, and 115 for the scale factor. 1.15 or 115 percent is the proper scale factor for this client's device. So the files for the Osprey hand components should be printed at 1.15 or 115 percent. Good luck and thanks for watching.